It actually wasn't a bad first kiss. It was on the beach. Do you remember their name? Yeah, but I'm not gonna say it. No one knows their name. <laughs> you know who you are. What's up Teen Vogue? I'm Sophia Carson and we're about to find out how well my fans know me. This is Teen Vogue's fan survey. Thank you. Let's see. Other way around. Who is Sophia's favorite Disney villain? I might be biased, but I have to say my mom, the evil queen. Well, I do play her daughter, and so I think I owe it to her for her to be my favorite. <laughs> She's also really fabulous. The evil queen is so fabulous, and when Charlize plays her, and my mom, Kathy and Jimmy, was pretty amazing. Um, so I would say, yeah, the evil queen from Snow White. Let's see what they say. So this is the winner, the evil queen with 162 votes, and I definitely agree. And then the runner up is Maleficent with seven votes. Maleficent is a Pretty close second. And then we have Ursula with five votes. And we have Evie, which makes me sad because Evie's not a villain, guys. And then Cruella, four votes. Cruella's pretty badass too. Next question. <laughs> How old was Sophia when she had her first kiss? I don't think I've ever been asked this before publicly. So you guys are gonna be the first to know publicly. My mom is laughing at the other side of this camera. I was 18. It was summer of uh, my senior year, and I honestly spent high school really uninterested in like boys and that whole thing, and I was just studying, and if I wasn't studying, I was writing songs. And um, yeah, I had my first kiss some summer of senior year. I was a late bloomer. The next day, I went to lunch with my mom and my sister, and I sat down at the table, and I go, guys, I had my first kiss. And my sister was like, why would you tell your mom that? <laughs> And then she was like, now that we're saying it, I got kissed a long time ago. <laughs> Which is so us. Okay. <laughs> you guys know me so well. 18 got the most votes. 16 got the second most votes. Then 14, 15, 13. So you guys know me well. I was 18. The next question is, who is Sophia's celebrity doppelganger? It's a good question. I'm intrigued to see what they say. I've heard Lily Collins and I think she's just so beautiful. So thank you for whoever has said that. Um, so I would say maybe Lily. Oh, how cool. So I got Lily Collins, 67 votes. Do we look alike? And then Audrey Hepburn, 16 votes. She's always been my fashion everything. So let's see. I got Sal for seven votes. I've never gotten her before, but I could definitely see a similarity. She's smizing really hard there. I love this look. And Nina, I actually, when I met Nina, we both said that we looked so much like each other and we took a selfie and she was like, are we sisters perhaps? That was pretty cool. Thank you very much. What is Sophia's favorite song to sing that's not her own? I would say my favorite song to sing has always been Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. I've been singing it since I was in high school. My mom taught it to me and it's always been my favorite song in the world to sing. I feel like the fans, they're like my family. I think they know me pretty well. So I'm gonna guess that they got it right. Let's see. They got it right. Can't Help Falling in Love with 55 votes. All Too Well. Okay, so see, that is a fair choice because All Too Well is my current favorite song of all time. So they weren't wrong. So All Too Well is a close second. Just then the third one is just Taylor Swift in general. <laughs> Correct. Happier Than Ever, another one of my favorite songs. Oh, Don't Cry From Your Argentina has seven votes. That's the first song I ever learned when I was like three or four years old. So that's actually, I'm really impressed that they knew that. That's really cool. And then they picked Loud, which is one of my songs for five votes. So that's pretty awesome. Accurate. Thank you. I feel so official with these folders. Which red carpet look is Sophia's favorite? That's tough. I. I've had a lot of fun with fashion. My answer is um, the Jean-Baptiste Valley couture dress that I wore for the 2020 Golden Globe Awards. I loved how I felt in it, and that's the beauty of fashion and clothes. It's like this armor that you put on for the day. And the coolest part about that day is I was walking into the ceremony with my mom and my sister, and Beyonce was walking behind me. And as she walked past me, she turns to me and she says, 
can't even say it. She goes, you look beautiful. I love your dress, but like in, in Beyonce's voice. And I just slowly melted to the floor and I just proceeded to sit on the floor to take in that moment for a second. So thank you, Beyonce. Okay, so let's see what you guys picked. First one is my very first Oscars, and that is actually a great choice. I oftentimes do think this might be one of my favorite looks. It has 119 votes. I wore this dress, and this whole look was inspired in Audrey Hepburn's very first Oscars look. And I loved this day. This was a really magical day, and the feeling on that carpet was just electric. And fun fact, we actually got this dress the morning of. Good choice. 18 votes, my first Golden Globes, also Jean-Baptiste Couture. I did really love this dress as well. Beautiful dress. And also kind of Audrey inspired again. Oh, interesting. This was my last red carpet. This was the MTV Awards. I love this dress. It was an Iris Van Herpen dress. Her pieces are like walking art. This was a really cool look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the first Descendants premiere. <laughs> I feel like I look like a different person. Also, I got this dress, I think that morning of or the night before with my mom actually. And it was a Monique Lulier dress. And of course, I, we wanted to wear Evie blue. And I'm also wearing earrings that belong to my mom. So that was a special night. And then, oh, this is interesting. Pitch Perfect premiere. This is a really cool dress. I think it's Giuseppe Di Marabito. That was a fun night. My sister came with me. We went to support Haley. All fun looks. But I think that first one, the Oscars choice was pretty good. Thank you. Which artist is Sophia's biggest inspiration? I don't know if I could pick just one. I grew up admiring women like Cher and like Barbara Streisand who were trailblazers. My mom would show me, you know, Barbara's movies and Cher's movies. You know, the fact that they were not just a singer, but they were singers and songwriters and directors and producers. And I always thought how amazing it would be to, to follow in their steps in some way. Audrey Hepburn, especially because of her work with UNICEF and the fact that she dedicated her life and her voice to philanthropy. So let's see what you guys say. Audrey Hepburn, 67 votes. Cher, number two with 41 votes. Look at this icon. Taylor Swift, 41. I was gonna say, I've always admired Taylor Swift as a storyteller, as a songwriter, as a female in this business. And yeah, this is a great choice, 41 votes. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. This is my favorite one, my mom. Which, I think the question was, which artist? Which is why I wouldn't have said my mom, but for which person is my inspiration? It's definitely my mom. I love this photo. This was actually at the release of my Teen Vogue cover back in 2020 with my mom and my sister. That was a really special night. They're my favorite people in the world. I know she's cringing on the other side of the camera because all I do is talk about her. <laughs> Thank you very much. What is Sophia most afraid of? I'm not really afraid of insects or heights and stuff like that. I was asked this the other day and we're gonna go a little deep here, but I think what I'm most afraid of is fear itself. My mom has always said that everything you want is on the other side of fear. So I would say that fear itself is what I'm most afraid of feeling. Spiders, <laughs> 31 votes. <laughs> They're like cut the cheesiness, Sophia, spiders. Oh, losing people she loves, absolutely. Failure. 21 votes. <laughs> the last one is my favorite, cooking. That is actually a very valid fear. I am scared of cooking. I should just use that one from now on. I'm scared of cooking. <laughs> Thank you so much, Teen Vogue. Thank you to my fans, my family. Thank you for taking the survey, for knowing me so well, for being on this beautiful journey with me. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah. Did that work? Okay, great.